Hey everybody, Friday favorite. Now, if you count purely the amount of time that I have spent in any one game as a, as, as a mark that it is my favorite game ever, then Skyrim is my favorite game ever. I've clocked about 900 hours, and there's still whole continents that I've never been to. I am... So, oh, God. I have played the shit out of this game, and it is lovely. And before I go any further, I should mention, I have a ton of mods. Um, a lot. Like, 200 and something? So... My Skyrim experience is basically entirely unique. There's no... There isn't a lot of overlap. I have... Here, let's open up my mod menu. I've got fast travel mods. I've got crafting mods. I've got horse mods. Dragon mods. I make dragons deadlier. I've got a whole ton of different new sets of spells. I've got one that lets me start my own guild. A hunting one. Uh, Frostfall, which is a, a sort of cold weather survival mod. Just piles of them. Spurg uh, redoes my whole perk trees, all of them. So if you play Skyrim, I all, I can and 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 you and you don't use mods, I do recommend it. Um, they're a lot of fun, especially if you play the game a whole bunch. But also, just you. Take into account the fact that my Skyrim experience is going to be vastly different from yours uh, when I talk about it. Um, and the fact that I'm still playing a game that came out like four years ago. <laughs> Longer? No, about four years ago. Maybe five. Yeah, five. Uh, all of the armor that I'm wearing is from mods. So are the swords. So are Marco's. Um... So is most of the stuff on these racks. Uh, this is my house. Uh, this is one of my houses. This is this is not my like. I guess this is my current main Skyrim game. I'm not like a a, a super completionist, or I try to be, but I'm not. I am easily distracted. And I have the nerd. I, I think it's the nerdiest. Like it's sufficiently nerdy that I'm kind of ashamed to talk about it, but. Every one of these armor racks is a character. So I have about eight or nine, possibly eleven different Skyrim characters. And they have they each have their own followers. Um and they have their own proxies. So Marco here is actually a Breton named Cosnic that I renamed using a mod. Um, and he's my follower because he hangs out with this character. And sometimes I play as Marco. You're wearing that armor and using that rapier, etc., etc. And sometimes I don't. Um, yeah, this is so unbelievably nerdy. Let's set up and go do something and I'll, and I'll talk about it a bit. Oh, man. It took me a while to get into Skyrim because I didn't have a story I wanted to tell in it. But as soon as I realized that that's what I needed... I just started telling all these weird stories, and then about six months ago, I'd been using, uh, let's grab my horse, I'd been using the character editor to change my character. Where are we off to? We are off to Trava's watch. How far is that? Yeah, let's ride. We'll encounter some neat things on the way. Uh, FYI, there may be some breaks in this video because um, one of the things that having a bunch of mods does is it can make your game more unstable. So keep that in mind. But, no, but I, I've been using the character editor to age my character and sort of change his hair and... You know, just so he reflected the effects that I thought the world would have on him, which is already, I think we can agree, super dorky. But then I, I thought, why not go a little farther? Why not 
reinvent my character entirely because one of the big problems I'd have is I would, you know, I'd finish a, a bunch of the main quest chains and then I'd sort of lose focus because my character's story was over. You know, they had become who they were meant to be. Excuse me, sir. All right, fine. Let's, let me get off my horse for a second. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. There we are. I'm not going to loot you. Where'd my horse go? Let's throw up a healing spell. Clamber back on it. Let's get back on that horse. But, yeah, why not, why not reinvent my character entirely? Like, why not change everything about them? So I did. And it started with one character... And then it went to two characters, and then five characters, and now I have, I think, 11 in one save game, all with their own stories and their own relationships to the world, and, you know, I sort of pick and choose who I want to play. I also, my favorite Skyrim minigame is not the lock picking; it's the dress-up. Skyrim dress-up is the best part of Skyrim, and when you only have one character, you only really get to play dress-up with one character, and you sort of... Maybe you have, like, seven suits of armor. I mean, you can make, like, as many as you want. You can have hundreds, but you only really probably wear seven over the course of the game. Like, for real. And... But with eleven characters... I get to dress up each one of them, and I get to dress them up based on themes. So this is Julia. Julia's a knight. She fights with a sword and shield. Uh, she wears heavy armor. So she has this golden plate armor. And she is a phoenix knight, so she has fire. She uses a bunch of fire magic. And this, that is that is her that is her, her backstory. And she has a, a sister uh, who's an archer, and it's seriously, it is unbelievably dorky. We're going to fast travel, I think, to get a bit closer. No, we're not that far away. But, and I love that, like, the game is gorgeous. I have a bunch of mods that are also changing the nature of the game. Like, the, the appearance and everything like that. I'm actually going to turn off my buff spells. Give me one second. Yeah, I have a lot of spell mods. They give me new spells. So, there's a ton of new spells in the game. There's, uh, I have one, a set of spells that level up. It's, it's nuts. Uh, I'm not even going to start doing mod spotlights. You can find a ton of them on, on Skyrim Nexus and, and things like that. There are a ton of... Uh, I will link to some channels that do mod spotlights. Because uh, there's a bunch of those. But I have a lot of mods, and I love basically all of them. Because all the ones I didn't love, I got rid of. Where are we here? We're heading south. Up the path to the mountain. Through the mountains. And then down to Travis Watch, where we're going to kill some bandits. You get this big, expansive world with these huge vistas. So I should point something out that the other game that is like this... I mean, it also it also hits my... It hits my fancy on, on being able to build things. Uh, the Hearthfire DLC added houses that you can build. And that's super fun. Again, hits all my hits all my nerd payoffs. There's just all kinds of stuff you can do. Oh, Darkwater Pass. I'm not going here. We're actually gonna Oh 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 we we had an accident. There we are. It's all cool. Everything's fine. Uh, 
That's a saber cat. Uh, hello. Are we friends? We're not friends. Bam! Yes! Alright, we're gonna fast travel to get a bit closer, I think. We'll head up from Blackthorn. So Blackthorn is a town that was added completely through a mod. It is a town that you build. And I don't know how much of it I've built. I don't think very much. But yeah, I love the sort of homesteading aspect. I, uh, I'm, yeah, like I said, it's it's dorky as hell. So right now the town is just a shop. What's up, Marco? Who are you? You look suspicious. Oh, Skuma. Skuma is, uh, Skyrim Drugs. So we're about to have an accident. Get my sword out. I don't like drug dealers near my town. I will leave you here as an example to all other drug dealers. Bye. Seriously, dude, go kill some bandits or something. I mean, you thought you could fight me, so think you can fight some bandits. I believe in you. Probably. Do 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 do. Trevor's watch. Hey nerds, let me in. All right, let's go find another way in. Bandits are my most common enemy in Skyrim. Bandits and Stormcloaks. The premise of Skyrim is that there's a giant civil war between the Imperials who are Imperial and the Stormcloaks who are some sort of villainous super racist. They're not actually super racist. They're just like sort of regular run-of-the-mill racist, but I'm not a big fan of them. Sort of kill on sight. You know how it is. You get in there. All right. Hi, everybody. Let's play. Oh. Kick your dog. You're large. Oh my, you're quite large. You're dead now. I'll point out that I'm not like a max level Skyrim character either. I've just played this game for 900 hours. So, I have a lot of advantages. Um... You can do a lot at level 10 if you if you know what you're doing. And if you spend enough time on anything, you will know what you're doing. Bye. Bye-bye. Have fun. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, let's, uh... Bye. It's my Phoenix charge. Are you alive? No. <laughs> no, you're dead. Just checking. Hop. Hop. Let's go inside. Seriously, I can wander through this game and kill bandits and complete storylines all day. And like I said, there are mods... I have... There are mods that... In, like, like, uh... Falk, not Falkreath. Um, Falskar... And Worm's Tooth and elsewhere that add entire continents. Like, it is bonkers. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, Marco, get her! Get her! I believe in you. Boom! Jump you through the chest, yes. Yeah, it's also just 
vigorously violent, which is kind of fun to play. You would be a fantasy hero, or a fantasy villain. Though I've never really done the steal everything, murder everybody build, it just doesn't seem like a fun way to, for me to play the game. I typically don't steal anything. And... Bye-bye, Bandit Chief. Bandit leader dead. I'm gonna clean this up. With a really awkward death scene. And yeah, Skyrim. Probably, if judging purely by time, my favorite.